Okay, people, what I'm about to show you, unfortunately, is already done. It's taken years and years to do this. So, and I never really kind of thought about filming it. So, but now I'm kind of like doing videos and things over the last few years. I've done a video for you folks to show you my basement conversion. So this is a basement converted into a cinema room. And here's the walk around. You have to excuse the stuff on the stairs at the moment because we're still working down here on another project, which is in there. I'll show you that a bit later on. That is another part of my basement. So, this is what we've built. So let me walk you around some of the things that we did so you can have a good look. So this is quite an old house. We live in quite an old house and this was a huge basement that we had uh, downstairs and um, it was kind of operated by these really rickety stairs which we changed and updated. Um, and we put some brick slips on here. These are brick slips, not real um, uh, <laughs> bricks. Um, and so we put in a nice new staircase into this basement, but obviously first of all we had to clear everything out lots of rubble and Dust and old bits of wood in here um, to create this so we built ourselves a little bar uh, Which we had some help in to do that. I didn't do all this myself did some of it, but not all of it um, so um, put a nice oak uh, bar top on here <coughs> which is looking really cool I did start to put some resin <laughs> in here um, and uh, it came through the bottom and fell on the floor. <laughs> so, luckily enough, we've got a quite a cool wooden floor. Um, this isn't real, it's not a real wooden floor, it's kind of those, um, what do they call it? So it's the top bit that looks really cool, but underneath it's like MDF or something rubbish <laughs> but it looks really smart we built ourselves uh some shelves so we could put the amp in and obviously the playstation that's got to go in there uh, we've got a little room in here where we got all our dvds <laughs> happy days uh not that we watch many dvds these days and then over here we've just got all the gump and all the rubbish in inside here so that's just a little tiny little room. Uh, we've matched all the doors in here with the rest of the house. And then we put up some really cool signs. We've got some really cool neons. Uh, we made this light. This is all made out of the old pipe kind of work. So you just buy all this from Amazon and stuff or on the internet. Like rusty old bulbs with these old fashioned kind of looking bulbs which look really cool for a bar. Uh, we made the shelf as well, so that was all bespoke made. You didn't buy any of this, this is just all oak. A bits of wood, again, with pipe work, kind of all running through it, which looks quite smart. So again, we tried to make as much as we can in here. Um, <coughs> I got this, uh, like a, a mirror uh, in the back. It looks like kind of an old-fashioned mirror, and you get that. That was on the internet. Um, they actually came out and installed that, so it's... Um, wasn't too bad, it's not too too expensive, so that's quite smart. We're not massive raging alcoholics, by the way, <laughs> even though it looks like it, but we're not. I mean, this is just really, you know, we have a few uh, kind of get-togethers and things like that. I mean, these have been here for ages, you know what I mean? They're not even, uh, <laughs> not even full up. Uh, what have we got in here? We've got all sorts of different drinks going on. I do like my uh, monkey shoulder, love that. That's really quite a nice, nice drink. Um, and I do love a bit of Gentleman Jack. They are, as you see, we've got another one over here, <laughs> and another one behind there. <laughs> so we've got a little fridge <coughs> in here as well, which basically has got all of our, uh, there's no light on here, I don't know why that is, I think we've totally turned it off. But a few drinks in here and stuff. 
Um, obviously, we can serve behind the bar. Um, I love all my memorabilia and stuff like that. So we've got like movie memorabilia in here. So we've got the Ghostbusters, all signed by every member, which is pretty cool. Sadly, Harold is no longer with us, but so that's pretty cool and pretty neat to have that. And then we've got Sly Stallone, which is Rocky Balboa, one of my favourite all-time movies, and not to mention <laughs> Back to the Future. Look at this, look at this. Ooh la la. <laughs> the almanac and obviously the bag that it came in and things like that. So I do plan, I'd love to try and get this uh, signed by all three members if I can. Uh, all cast, obviously. Three, three cast, four? Well, as many casts I can get. Obviously on there, that would be that would be pretty wicked. Uh, so what else have we done in here? So um, just got a little seating area. I mean, it's, it's not huge, but we've got a little seating area for a couple of people there. A couple of bar stools. And then obviously, most importantly, the cinema aspect of it. So we've got these really cool chairs. Now these, would you believe, right? Check this out. Look at this chair. Absolutely neat looking cinema chair. Right, watch this, watch this absolutely love these chairs and they recline check this out all the way back oh yeah look at that all the way back 230 quid on ebay brand new <laughs> Now we added this panel up as well on the wall. Um, again, just really cost effective, cheap wood to make this up. Cause it looks like a really cool wall. It doesn't look like it's been there for like, you know, years old, really old fashioned kind of wall. But again, we just made that, you know, we just put the wood up there and painted it. Uh, it's all painted in like matte black. Um, we got this screen, absolutely ginormous screen. Um, and that is pretty cool. And then we've got the, what unit have we got up here? Can't remember now. Oh, there we go. Opti... Optima. Optima? <laughs> Optima. Um, and this is like um, a really, really good um, cinema. Um, what do you call them? <laughs> projector. Really good cinema projector. And I got somebody in uh, to set all this up for me. Um, because I'm not really great at setting stuff up. So he came along and set all them up. We've got speakers here in the ceiling. So we've got these two in the ceiling here. And again, everything's painted black. All matte black. We've got, um, there's two speakers behind there. There's also two more speakers here behind you. Um, I think that's it, actually. Uh, oh, we've got two subs as well, two subs. So we've got these ones, that one there and that one there. So we've got one, two, three, four five six seven eight speakers in here and it is loud <laughs> i'll put something on for you in just a second so there it is everyone i hope you enjoyed the cinema room tour as i say this has taken quite some time to uh put up oh what i forgot to say is we, we raised this section as well so again this was raised up with some just some wood um just a little platform to put these three chairs up so then obviously you're higher up than the front four <laughs> and then put a carpet in um again you know there's a lot more that went into this than i've just said but i'm just sort of giving you the highlights really of what we did and kind of roughly how we did it and what we spent in here and stuff so it's pretty cold in here we've only managed to get like a little radiator here a little tiny one there and a little tiny one there um which we've connected up to the existing kind of house. Um, but and it's still cold, though. It's still cold, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's not so much of a problem. But, uh, yeah, PlayStation in here, a uh, little DVD player. Uh, mainly we just got this hooked up to our little Cody system over there, <coughs> which is pretty cool. But, yeah, there we go, folks. Um, in here, something else going on here. This is another part of the basement, uh, which we are doing um out as well and i'll be making that into another room um but that's pretty cool so we we're quite lucky to have quite a big basement to be fair and this is what we loved about this place this house being in such a a big you know having such a cool big basement so um don't know what it was used for before but i know what it's going to be used for now 
<laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when this is all done, or we'll, we'll walk you through some of them. We're still, obviously, as you see, we're still in, still in building mode in this one. So there it is. Let's get a movie on.